Anybody here, anybody here in favor of abolishing the TSA? You know, when I say that in Washington, they say, what are you complaining about? You can go to the airport, and if you don't have health insurance, you can get a free breast exam. You can get a free mammogram, and if you mention the Ron Paul revolution, you can get a free colonoscopy. The only problem is, some of us would prefer that our physician not be selected by advertising that's on the Pizza Hut box. I had the director of TSA come before my committee, and he said, well, we've got to pat down these children. And I showed him a picture of a six-year-old girl from Bowling Green, Kentucky, and the agent had her hands inside this little girl's pants. And, and he said to me, in all seriousness, and he followed up with a letter, and he said, well, a girl in Kandahar set off a bomb, an eight-year-old girl. And I said, this girl's not from Kandahar. She's from Bowling Green, Kentucky. There's a professor at Harvard, and he wrote recently, his name's Noah Feldman, he wrote, the next time the TSA asks you to put your hands above your head, no, hun, just a little bit higher, no, hun, a little bit higher, and when you stand there for a vulnerable seven seconds, the next time you do this, you ask yourself, is this the pose of a free man? We have had the beginnings of some great victories, but we have yet to have the great victories. We did have a great victory in the House when we passed Audit the Fed. This is a credit to a certain congressman from Texas who got every Republican to vote for it and a hundred Democrats to vote for it. A lot of news reports are saying it's dead now and it's going nowhere, and I can tell you that's not true. We have 29 co-sponsors in the Senate. I've sat down personally with Harry Reid twice, and Harry Reid assures me that he's been for Audit the Fed for over 20 years. Don't laugh. We found the YouTube videos. From 1987 on, Harry Reid has been for Audit the Fed. He's just not sure if he's still for it. But this, this, is, a, this is something we can do. When I go back in September, we're going to try to get a vote. Harry Reid is the only one that can allow me to have the vote. He has all the power. If everyone in this room convinces a hundred other people to email Harry Reid and says, we want to vote on Audit the Fed, I think we still can get it. So that is for you to do. One of, one of the great things that's come out of Audit the Fed is that people have heard you. They've heard you saying in the Fed too, but they've also heard Audit the Fed. But here's the thing, because we've talked about Audit the Fed so much, we're now talking about Audit the Pentagon. 